All right guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, in today's video, I want to make a response. Spencer Mac made a very interesting video concerning my recent shift to eating animal products. And therefore, I want to go through that video with you guys and give you a response to his questions and to his tips. Let's do this. So I've got a couple questions for you as well, Bobby. Is the creation and consumption of this almost man-made diet with all of these supplements, is that better than consuming the flesh of an animal? It seems like it could be separated from nature, the fact that we isolate all these things and that we have to consume this kind of diet to really thrive. Is that disconnected or is that a greater connection? It's a, it's a funny paradox. Is this our nature to consume flesh? Are we resisting the fact of life? Are we not embracing the death, the reality of death? Either way, I really appreciate individuals like yourself who are expressing their honest situation, especially when we get in these scenarios where we almost have become identified with a certain lifestyle or dietary practice. It can be difficult to break that. I feel we're very similar in the sense, uh, like I said, we're hard-headed and we'll do anything that we can to find out how to thrive while adhering to our ideals. And currently that puts me in a place where I'm in a highly supplemented diet, kind of living off a of matrix goo. So that's just kind of a paradox I wanted to share with you. It'd be interesting to hear your insights. All right, Spencer. So first off, thank you very much for that video. I had to chuckle, man, because we share a lot of similar perspectives. Many things that you mentioned, I was thinking of as well, especially when we were talking about the matrix sludge <laughs> and that man-made diet that is heavily supplemented in order to sustain you. I can definitely relate to that. So you asked if that is the way to go or if it is a disconnect, a disconnect towards nature, so to speak. I say it is the latter. Of course, it is a disconnect towards nature, 100%. See, when we are looking within, we can observe our human potential, which seems to be infinite, basically. If you look back in time, people were dreaming of flying. But those people didn't start miraculously to levitate. Those people started building airplanes. We have this drive in us to build technology, to build supplements, which are technology on their own. We have this human drive, this will to transcend biology. This is what we are doing on a daily basis, even now using this medium and talking to you, bro. This is what transcending biology means. We're not sitting right in front of each other, but we're having a chat, so to speak, only through technology. I see that whilst observing human potential, we can observe the future in that sense. We can see what is possible pretty soon, or maybe hundreds and hundreds of years down the road. As those people that were dreaming of flying, we are dreaming of a cruelty-free world. A world where we don't need to eat flesh. But think about it. All of those biological, instinctual habits we try to transcend or hide. If you think about basic urges, sex. Nowadays we are hiding. We don't have sex in front of everybody. Even porn needs to be hidden. People are ashamed when somebody finds their porn folder or their browser history. So we need to do it behind closed doors. And the same goes for pissing and shitting. It is absolutely natural, absolutely normal, the healthiest thing to do. But people are hiding. People are ashamed when somebody sees how they take a dump. That is because we are ashamed of our own biology. Why that is? Man, that is a question for a whole new video. <laughs> but. It is a fact. We as humans, we have a strong disconnect towards our own nature. We are afraid of the beast within, if you will. <laughs> we are afraid of our own potential, be it the good or the bad. 
we are afraid of our potential, our potential to transcend and our potential to degrade, if you will, to that beast that eats flesh. <laughs> it is scary in that sense, of course. Therefore, when you see people eating raw meat, you get triggered, even though it is totally natural. That is what we are trying to do here. Veganism is an ideology and it's beautiful. The idea is great. But as for right now, Spencer, I don't see it being applicable right now. This is why we need to supplement so heavily. This is why so many people struggle. The ideology of veganism is fantastic. And someday, I'm sure, those days of hunting, gorging on flesh, even pissing and shitting, all of that will be in the past and we will transcend that. But in order to get to that state, we truly need to transcend biology. <laughs> we need to become cyborgs. We need to become the robot, a cybernetic organism, something on those lines in order to really thrive on a non-flesh diet. Truly, I didn't want to admit that, but this is where I'm at right now. This is my current state of consciousness. Am I right? I could be wrong. I'm not claiming anything. But by observing this human flesh machine, I see a still very primitive ancient being that is very good <laughs> at creating technology, but is very bad at coping with it. <laughs> we are playing catch up with the technology that we created. We sterilized our environments and now it is about time to become one with that environment. Our true environment, our natural environment, is nature, but we disconnected from it and now we are in this artificial environment. But we are not artificial yet and therefore we are supplementing with artificial chemicals in order to feel somewhat okay. The truth is neither here nor there. The truth is, veganism is the future, but not with our current biology. <laughs> and also, my other question is, what do you think is in the egg? Do you think there's a specific vitamin? Is it the form of vitamin A that's in there? Uh, an amino acid? Some other elements that are missing? What are they? Could they be quantified and added to the self-composed diet? Fascinating circumstance we find ourselves in. People ask me that before. They always ask, what do you think it is? Is it the vitamin A? Is it the B12? Is it the choline? Do you think it's the cholesterol? As human beings, we always like to label things to make this experience livable so we can understand what is going on here. Of course, nothing can truly be conceptualized. We try to comfort ourselves with labels, with terms. And brother, I salute you for that. I really do, because I have the same drive. I always want to find out what it truly is. And what if I find that missing link, that missing nutrient? Could I just supplement it and then everything will be fine? I do not know which nutrient it is. Of course not. I tried to supplement many of those nutrients before. And they never did the trick. DHA, EPA, choline, vitamin D, vitamin A, everything. It didn't do the trick. In that mushroom experience, my mushroom teacher, as you said, <laughs> I saw the egg as the origin of all life, as the source, something that cannot be replicated with a lab-made chemical. It's not about the choline, the mushroom said. It's not about the cholesterol either. It's not about a specific vitamin. <laughs> it is about the life force. I know this sounds super woo and many people will dismiss it as pseudoscience. Rightfully so. That is completely all right with me. I'm just sharing what the mushroom told me. And even that sentence sounds crazy to many, many people out there. That is all right as well. <laughs> In that mushroom experience, I saw the egg as the origin of all life that cannot be replicated yet. Maybe at some point we will have birthing machines that give life. 
Sure, why not? But as for right now, even though that biological technology of an egg seems very, very primitive, still, it is the bringer of life. You're ingesting life. As the Chinese said, it is qi energy. And I know, again, it sounds woo. But this was the only lesson that truly made sense. You cannot isolate certain nutrients and expect the same effect. Even if you look into bodybuilding, you will agree. Everybody knows that isolated proteins, isolated supplements don't work as good as real food. Rich Piana was always talking about that. Eat real food, goddammit. <laughs> and he's 100% right. Because let's be honest, how likely is it that we know everything about nutrition? Even if it is not the origin of all life, right? Even if you do not want to accept that as a truth and you're still looking for the nutrient. Could it be the ratio or could it just be that we haven't discovered a certain nutrient yet? If you look into the evolution of veganism, my friend, you will find that back in the day nobody knew that they needed B12. How crazy. Then, later on, after finding out about B12 and doing a lot of harm and damage on the way, many, many people severely damaged themselves and cannot recover ever again. That is sad. Later on, people started talking about DHA and EPA. What will be the next supplement? We do not know, so therefore we are in an experiment here. And the test subject is ourself, our own body. I was willing to sacrifice quite a lot in order to understand what the real human diet is. I was on this pursuit, on this journey of truly understanding what it means to be human, what it means to be vegan, what it means to eat flesh. All of it I truly wanted to understand for myself. It is still an ongoing journey, but on that journey I severely damaged myself. Now, Spencer, eating animal products again, I regained tremendous health. That is just the case. Initially, I was fighting the mushroom message, but after a while, I had to give in. After trying, I was so opposed in doing so, but after trying, I have to admit that it works. What it is for right now, I have to repeat myself, I do not know. But I appreciate the healing and I appreciate the regained health. And that is all I can say for now. Anyways, thank you very much for reaching out, Spencer. I truly enjoyed your video. As I said, absolutely beautiful to watch. For anybody that hasn't checked out his channel, it is Spencer Mac. I'm gonna link the channel in the description box below. A super interesting dude who is on a journey himself, always seeking truth, always trying to find out what it truly means to eat in a perfect fashion, if you will, an absolutely fascinating character, very well spoken as well. So guys, make sure to check him out. If you liked this type of video, leave me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And as always guys, much love and peace.